Would it be appropriate to say that consciousness retains less suffering than the realm of manifestation? I would say in this context in which we are talking about. If you see the realm of manifestation as suffering, then the realm of manifestation also has beauty, also has, has divinity, also has sacredness, also has pleasure, also has um, all the positivities. Yeah. So the, the realm of manifestation has everything in it. Whatever you can perceive of exists in the realm of manifestation. But many of us try to reject the realm of manifestation and straight away want to go to the realm of consciousness. I am saying that is not possible. You are of manifestation. You will have to go through manifestation. And that is the essence of mother here. Why are we rejecting the pain and accepting the, the beauty only? Why are It is like we are very shrewd business people then. We are saying I only want the profit not the loss. And if you say in my business there will be loss also, so I reject the business itself and run to the Himalayas. You follow? No, that's not how life exists. In the realm of manifestation, everything exists. And as I said earlier, if you start to see sacredness in each manifestation, the suffering will be much less. And suffering that you experience in the world of manifestation also has a purpose nothing exists here without a cause or a purpose yeah that's for another discussion yeah but my my suggestion would be do not cut yourself off or reject the realm of manifestation only through this realm there is a possibility of entering into any other realm yeah let me explain that uh, I hope you will be able to understand this but let me explain it a little bit from a tantric perspective without going into too much of details of that simple in this energy system this or rather this Sahasrara is the seat of Shiva consciousness the top chakra in human system and the base chakra the Muladhara is the top of is the is the seat for Shakti just see the magic here at the base Muladhara is the seat of Shakti at the top Sahasrara is the seat of Shiva consciousness so the journey and from the base of the spine to the top of the head is the whole journey which we call sadhana right what is this journey in Hindi I would say this journey is called Jagat the world, the world, W-O-R-L-D, in Hindi is called Jagat. The world of form is called Jagat. The meaning of word Jagat is Gati. Gati means movement. So this entire world of human experience, this life that is being given to us, is the life of Gati, is the life of movement. Nothing exists in this life without any movement. Even breath is a movement. Without this primary movement, we will not be here. In the spiritual sadhana, what is the movement? The movement, the movement is of Shakti, which is the base of the spine, to the Sahasrara, to the top of the crown. That's the movement. So the Jagat, the, the life, the earth has been formed, the realm of manifestation has been formed in such a way that you do this journey of rising of of taking the shakti from the base to the consciousness this is the spiritual journey now if you say i only want to dwell here and not be not deal with the shakti the mother then there is no journey happening then you are only i'm not saying you but i've seen many people only existing in a conceptual domain of sadhana and not really doing the sadhana so there is no movement happening 